for the sake of this class, we are going to be tackling onlinejobs.ph. Why onlinejobs.ph? Kasi, for one, it's specifically for Filipinos lang. Number two, it's free. Unlike for Upwork, wherein um, pag nakakuha ka ng client, kumukuha ng cut si Upwork sa payment ni client sa yo. Si onlinejobs.ph, hindi. I think that it's really good for newbies since if you cannot command a higher price yet, it would be good for you to earn everything. Parang ganun. So, kaya we'll start with onlinejobs.ph. And okay, so ano nga ba yung profile and um, ano impact nun sa yo as a job seeker? Your profile is a collection of your work information. So dito papasok yung experiences mo, yung skills, yung mga qualifications mo. And this is also where clients can sort of get an initial feel kung magma-match ba kayo. Dito sila nagkakaroon ng parang ng impression kung are you a good candidate or um, they would have to pass off, parang ganon. That's why it's very important for you to create an impressive profile kasi dito ka nila ginigage eh. So, the ultimate goal really of your profile is to convince your prospective clients to invite you for an interview. Hindi para i-hire ka kasi that's what interviews are for. It's really just for you to get your foot in the door. Na, okay, ah, okay to. Sige nga, ma-invite nga sila for interview. So, that's the ultimate goal of your profile. And with that in mind, let's go and check kung ano yung itsura ng profile mo. Alright, so we'll start with your photo. So, for the profile photo, look for or choose a photo that's clear. At least yung nakikita yung mukha mo. Hindi yung sobrang layo mo na parang they would have to squint para makita kung nasaan ka. Look for a photo that's also friendly or yung parang nag-exude ng friendly vibe. Hindi yung nakasimangot ka. And then lastly, go for something na appropriately professional. So, hindi naman super, super professional na kailangan. Um, it's not required na nakasuit ka or talaga naka-business casual ka. But at least professional. Siguro you, you can skip using yung photo mo na nakatupis ka. I think that wouldn't be appropriate. So, yun. Um, if you still have doubts, you can go sa onlinejobs.ph or at least kahit sa Google and check kung ano yung mga sample photos na ginagamit ng iba employees para magka-idea ka. Alrighty, the next one will be your service name. So, ganito mo ini-name yung iyong um, service. Now, for most beginners, nakikita ko sinasabi lang nila kung ano yung gusto nilang applyan. So, they want to be a VA, they want to be an encoder, ano pa ba yung iba, um, mga a legion, ganyan. And it's okay. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. But if you want to sort of stand out from the crowd, you want to boost your name a little bit. Para pag nakita ni client, parang mapado, ano sila, mapaisip sila. To do that, since meron lang kasing limitation si online jobs at PH, a maximum lang ng characters na you can use is 60. So you cannot really use a very long um, service name. In that case, what I do is I just go for using power adjectives. Power adjectives, ito yung mga additional words na will give yung service mo more um, uh, nagbibigay ng, ng punch, ng flavor. So, ito yung mga samples. Samples na to, there are still a lot, but you can start with these. So, you have your team player, methodical, strategic, objective, world-class, competent, expert, driven, detail-oriented, adaptable, resourceful, Resilient, disciplined, systematic, focused. Of course, for this one, you need to also match it with the service na gusto mo ipigay. So, for example, if you're a researcher, siguro saying that you're a resourceful researcher will work. Kasi as a researcher, kailangan resourceful ka. ba? If you're, let's say, working with numbers, like you're a bookkeeper, Siguro, it will help if you are systematic or detail-oriented. So, you have to just match it dun sa service na ibibigay mo. 
Okay, so moving on, the next part will be your expected salary. The salary really is, it's all in your mind. There's no right or wrong answer. Some people, they can charge $20 an hour. Some people, they charge $3 an hour. So it really is how confident are you in charging for your service? It's all up to you. However, what I would suggest is for you to set a base rate. Kumbaga yun yung huling tawad. Ano ba yung parang pinaka lowest na you could go? Diba? E, try mong i-figure out sa sarili mo kung ano ba yung parang, okay, ito na yung last na I can go as low as. Parang ganun. Para, alam mo rin na pag may mga in-offer sa'yo, may idea ka whether you're going to accept it or not. It also pays for you to sort of compute magkano ba yung needs mo for the month. And then, dun mo siya i-base. Isipin mo kung how much are you willing to accept. And then, you can start with that. Now, um, dito naman sa, sa online shops at PH, you can play with this. Hindi porke nilagay mo di dyan when you started is like $3 an hour lang starting mo. You have to stick with it. So you can play around with it. You can try $9 or $10 or $15. It's all up to you. Pwede mo siyang trial and error. The next one will be your experience. For this part, I would just like to highlight na dito, it's okay na kahit ilist mo yung mga experiences na you got outside of the online industry. As you can see here, I wrote here, 8 years in customer service. And this is because I've been in the BPO industry for almost 10 years. Yung experience na yon nakuha ko outside of the online industry. And it's okay. Kasi regardless of kung saan mo nakuha yung skills mo, skills pa rin siya. So, magkagamit mo pa rin siya. Diba? So, don't think na porke newbie ka, wala ka na mailalagay dyan. And you have to just sort of settle for yung mga basic skills. Hindi. So, like, if you've been a manager for the last 10 years, pwede mo ilagay dyan. It's okay. Kasi, ano yan eh, um, it's your entire experience. Okay, now we are going forward sa skill summary naman. And I would just like to reiterate na um, although this is really made for online jobs at PH, itong skill summary, you can use it for your portfolio, you can use it for other job board profiles, you can use it for your LinkedIn profile, pwede mo siyang i-rehash. It really is parang a way for you to showcase kung ano ba yung mga past skills and experiences mo. So, for the online jobs at PH, or kung regardless kung saan mo siya ilalagay, try to maximize the space. Huwag mo siyang tiperin, di ba? Kasi this is the only place wherein you can really sell yourself. Ito yung space wherein you can pitch your services, eh. So make sure to maximize all the space that you have. Again, it's really all about selling yourself. So kailangan mo i-highlight yung mga skills na strengths mo. But given that, you also have to remember that although the skill summary is all about you, in truth, it's actually about your client. So, what does that mean? It means na just like when you're selling, you have to parang talk about how your skills and experiences can actually benefit and help them. Kasi you're trying to get them as a client. When you build your skills summary, dapat ang focus na kay client. Although we're talking about you, but the focus really is about the client. Um, let's go over the one that example here. So, as you can see here, sa first line ko pa lang, identify ko na kung sino ba yung clients na gusto ko. I have here, small business owners. Yan yung gusto kong clients. Now, it's up to you if you want to do that. But um, if you're a newbie and you wanted to sort of have a wider range, then you can skip that. But at least have an idea kung sino ba yung gusto mong clients. Let's say you're a graphics designer. Pero ang specialization mo is, let's say, music. Then you can target mga record companies, musicians, because they still need graphic designers. Para sa, sa mga social media nila, sa, sa blog post nila, and everything. Diba? So, it really depends sa'yo 
kung sino yung gusto mong i-cater na clients. So, you can put it there. Now, ano ba yung needs nila? So, for my clients, my ideal clients, ang need nila is they need to build their credibility and authority sa market nila. Kailangan nilang mag-create ng automatic systems para makakuha ng needs. And at the same time, kailangan din nila ng way na mapataas yung customer base nila. So, with those three needs, I can actually help them. And I told them that. I told them kung paano ko sila tutulungan sa parts na yon. So, let me help you get more leads by creating and integrating conversion-focused lead magnets on their website. Let me help you get more customers through effective email marketing that's not time-consuming. Diba? So, I, I'm telling them how I can help them with their needs using my skills. So, on top of that, sinabi ko rin sa kanila na I am a multi-skilled customer service expert and meron akong extensive digital marketing experience. So, they can expect na pag ako yung um, kinuha nila contractor, I will consistently deliver um, above expectation KPIs. Yan. So, and to give more credit kasi ito, pwede ko lang sabihin, di ba? So, I told them that I'm actually certified. And ayan yung mga ginagawa ko. I develop campaigns, I create content, and I can also help set up automation. And then, meron din ako experience sa social media management, and I can develop tailor-fit content para sa business nila. So even if I was talking about me, I was, I'm always returning back sa needs nila as a small business owner. So yun. So when you build your skill summary, Always, always talk about how you can help them with their needs. And then, as a closing, this is your closing paragraph. I just tell them what I want them to do. So, I tell them na, please reach out so that we can discuss your business needs and how best I can support your goals. So, parang nilalagay ko na sa isip nila na, you know what? Just contact me. Reach out para matulungan ko kayo. So, always end with, with an invite for them. So that's it for our skill summary. Now let's go naman sa ating top skills. Yeah. So as you can see here, you can just edit it. And ang top skills naman natin, ito yung part where in sinu showcase ni onlinejobs.ph yung mga top skills natin and paano nila ginagawa yon. So top skills are all the skills that you rated five stars or four stars. So ikaw ang nagset nito. But the thing is, merong cap. Right now, um, you can only set three skills as your five, five stars and then six skills na four-star rating. But I believe they changed it na. For that one, since konti lang, hindi ka makakapag-highlight ng madaming madami, it's important for you to choose wisely. Make sure na yung mga skills na imamark mo lang as 5 star or 4 stars will be the skills na gusto mong gawin. Ito yung mga para sa mga trabaho na gusto mong matanggap ka. Ito yung mga work na gusto mo. So, what do I mean by that? So, for example, I have 8 years of customer service experience. Pero, that doesn't mean na gusto ko nagtitake ng calls. So, I don't highlight the calls part I just marked it as a three. And then for email support, as you can see here sa bottom, yung email support ko, I marked it as a five. Kasi I would rather do email support than phone support. So that's what I mean. So be strategic. Highlight mo lang yung mga trabaho na gusto mong matanggap ka for. Don't highlight it. I, even though you're really great at it, and alam mo na you're a five for that, Pero kung hindi naman siya something na you really enjoy doing or something na you don't even bother na mag-apply ka for that, then huwag mong sayangin yung stars mo. Look for um, skills na you really want to highlight. Yan. When you do yung skills review, ikaw kasi nag-re-rate, inunotify ka na ni onlinejobs.ph na huwag mong i-fake. You know, because eventually, they will figure it out eh. 
Kasi clients, they will ask you to do samples, they will ask you to do test work, and eventually they will find out whether or not you really know what you, you sort of said you do know. Diba? So, it's not important na parang kailangan marami kang top skills. Kasi understandable din kay client, you know, nobody's perfect. So, they would rather work with someone na really skilled at a particular skill kesa naman jack of all trades. Because that's unbelievable na parang someone would be really excellent sa lahat-lahat ng skills base na i na nila. So, that's a given. That's understandable. And employers do understand this. Clients understand this. And as, as uh, a contract worker or a remote worker, give yourself the freedom to just really highlight kung ano yung mga skills na you know you're really, really good at. Okay. Ito na yung self-rating. When you go and edit your scales, ito yung magiging itsura niya. So, on your left, this one, ito yung clusters ng mga skills. So, you have your office and admin, you have your English, your writing, marketing and sales, advertising, and so on and so forth. So, when you click a particular job cluster, it will open up to this one. So, magkakaroon ka ng mga more specific skills na you can rate. Yan. So, dito mo ngayon i-rate whether you're a 5-star, a 4-star, 3, 2, and 1. So, um, I'm not so sure kung nagbigay na rin sila ng cap for the th 3 stars. Pero baka meron na rin. So, just maximize your stars. Make sure na ma-allocate mo lahat ng stars mo. Okay, so ito yung meaning ng mga star ratings pala before we move forward. So, five stars will be you're the best. Number four is you're an expert. Three stars means you're really good at it. Two stars is nagawa mo na siya a few times. And one star is kung nagkaroon ka lang ng konting instructions. Let's say, um, nanood ka ng video sa YouTube or you attended a seminar. That can count as a one star. Okay. Ngayon, itong part na to, dito mo ngayon i-highlight or i-expound yung services mo. So, let's say you taste a three-star kay legal services. Dito mo ngayon i-explain bakit mo sinabi na three-stars ka kay legal services. O kasi nag-intern ka sa attorney's office for, let's say, four years. Ganon. Explain mo lang siya. And also, if you can, be specific, and use numbers. So, let's say, I have four years experience. Or for my previous client, I was able to double their sales. Or I can, I was able to increase their sales by 100%. Yung mga ganun. So, use numbers. And then, be specific. And then, lastly will be the tools. Ngayon, kasi hindi lahat naman ng tools might be available. Minsan kasi may nagpa-pop na, especially the common ones, lalabas na dyan pag tinipe mo. But um, if it's not there, just add it lang. So for example, if you're a travel agent for the longest time and marunong ka mag-Galileo, pwede mo siya uh, dyan ilagay. Or halimbawa, meron kayong mga tools na ginagamit sa work na alam mo possible gamitin online, pwede mo na ilagay dyan. So, anything, any tools na might be used online, lista mo lang. Kasi you'll never know. Baka yun yung kailangan ng client na support. ba? So, there. So, some key points from this course, use your profile to sell yourself. Again, although the information is for you, you're actually talking to the client. So, very much like kung nagtitinda ka ng bag, pwede mo sabihin na, okay, waterproof siya. But if you want to sell the bag, you say, okay, kung lagi kang nasa field and um, maulan sa place nyo lagi, this will be very beneficial for you. ba? So, use your profile to sell yourself. Always, always think about your clients' needs and how best you can help them.
Yan, focus on your ideal client's needs and problems. Because if you're really skilled at that, then you know how to help them. For example, since I am a customer service rep for the longest time, I know na ang main concern lagi dyan is paano pag hindi nila nakukuha yung in-order nila? Or paano kapag hindi sila happy dun sa binili nila? Diba? So, being skilled in something, alam mo ngayon kung ano ba yung problem na sinusolve nung service mo. Always think back and um, try to analyze kung paano mo gagamitin yung skills mo to solve the problems ng client mo. So, highlight how your skills can help them solve their problems. 